Hurricane Aaron is at 160 mile an hour category five hurricane. Aaron, Umberto, Melissa. Melissa's winds now being recorded at 175 miles per hour, guys. That is appalling for a storm that is headed directly toward a populated area to make landfall. Three massive Category 5 hurricanes roaring through the Atlantic. As of now, this is the strongest storm on the planet, and the forecast is for this to get even stronger today. That's only the second time on record we've seen three Category 5s in one season. Melissa unleashed the most complete devastation I've seen from a hurricane landfall that I can ever remember. And yet, for all that record-breaking fury, not one hurricane made a U.S. landfall during the 2025 season. That hasn't happened in a decade, since 2015. This year, we got lucky. This hurricane season was far from quiet or slow. It was incredibly unique. What's interesting is the waves you see behind me are actually Umberto, okay? They're not Imelda. We haven't gotten into those yet. There was the rare, delicate Fujiwara dance that wasn't. These two systems didn't really technically Fujiwara. It's more like Umberto gave it a little tug. It was actually near average in lots of ways to measure it, and in some ways in even above average season. The year of the fish storms is how your neighbor would describe it. This thing is a good looking storm in the best place it could be, in the middle of the ocean. Scientists call it recurvature. The big determining factor for where the hurricanes went this year was a big middle and upper level trough sitting over the eastern US and the western Atlantic. That was largely the feature responsible for turning these tropical cyclones out to sea. Despite being 100 or more miles offshore, some of these recurved storms cause serious damage. The East Coast, and in particular the Outer Banks of North Carolina, undoubtedly took uh, a hit with big waves, coastal flooding, beach erosion. No. No. In early July, Chantal did make landfall in South Carolina as a tropical storm. It dumped nearly a foot of rain on parts of the Carolinas, and six people died in the flooding. We always say, it's not about how busy the season is, it's about how bad it is. For Western Jamaica, Hurricane Melissa was beyond bad. The damage looked like a high-end tornado. Winds were 185 miles an hour at landfall, 2025's strongest storm worldwide. Hurricane Melissa is blamed for nearly 100 deaths in Jamaica and Haiti. Melissa is a reminder that if we didn't have our hurricane plan in place, for 2025 to do that for 2026. It doesn't even take a Cat 5. A slow moving tropical storm or a Cat 1 can be a water disaster where you live. So think ahead now and prepare for hurricane season 2026. It'll be here before you know it.